como siempre, Julio en América está en los hechos que hacen historia en nuestra comunidad. Y es así que estuvimos hace unos días en las puertas del DAS, el Dominico American Society, una entidad sin fines de lucro creada en el año 1993 con el objetivo de responder a las necesidades educativas, sociales y culturales de nuestra comunidad latina aquí en los Estados Unidos. Es por ello que a través de su existencia se ha convertido en un recurso especial para la comunidad. Dominico American Society ha demostrado eh, por la gran cantidad de personas que visitan sus oficinas diariamente en que es una entidad que realmente aporta a nuestra comunidad. Tan importante es el trabajo del Dominico American Society que políticos destacados eh, están trabajando y han trabajado para obtener fondos federales para esta organización. Es así que el congresista Gary Ackerman del quinto distrito de Nueva York, Queens y Long Island, luchó, trabajó y obtuvo 100 mil dólares en fondos federales para el desarrollo cultural, educativo y social de esta entidad. Desde ya, felicitamos a todo su staff y especialmente a su director José Tejada por su trabajo comunitario, por su trabajo educativo, reitero, social, cultural, que se realiza aquí, aquí, en el centro de Corona. Así que veamos las imágenes de este importante evento de nuestra comunidad. Let me congratulate you, first of all, for running a first-class uh, organization. It's absolutely amazing. Let me thank the students, especially, and the volunteers uh, who are here. Congratulations. Uh, this uh, represents $100,000 of, uh, of money from the federal taxpayers from Washington, D.C., that uh, I was very fortunate to be able to get for you uh, from Washington. This was in a bill that I passed in the Congress that was signed by the President, And the real check, of course, is in the bank. Uh, so this is, this is uh, symbolism uh, for that check. Uh, and this is to be able to further all of your efforts, Jose, and everybody else that's been working so hard and closely on the board of directors uh, to present these programs to the neighborhood and to everybody who lives in the community. Uh, the work that you have done, uh, especially for English as a second language, which is something that I was teaching. I was a teacher of uh, English as a second language. So uh, when I retire from Congress, maybe you'll have me come back and I'll be a teacher again. But uh, all of the work you do with teaching people uh, how to operate the computer, uh, how to prepare for jobs, uh, how to fill out applications, the work that you do to present uh, people the opportunity to help them with their citizenship applications to make our neighborhoods clean and beautiful and strong. Uh, so that everybody has the same opportunity in this country. It doesn't happen by accident. A lot of good people have to work hard and closely together to make that happen. And I am very honored and, and proud, first of all, uh, to be with you here today, to join with you in the effort that you have been so successful at. This is a little bit of appreciation, we hope, uh, to be able to work to do more. Uh, and that your programs become more and more successful in the years to come. So, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Bueno, para nosotros un gran placer. I'm only a Yankee. I only Yankee. <laughs> Me too, I'm Yankee too. <laughs> Pero a, a, le queremos decir a nombre de toda esta gente de aquí, yo que estoy al frente de la oficina, Muchísimas gracias. Esperamos que esta no sea la primera vez que usted no traiga taxes de, de Washington, que no traiga más dinero porque ya la comunidad sí lo necesita. Gracias por ponernos su atención. De nada.